Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion related to optoelectronics devices and systems and we're discussing about photometric quantities. In the previous video we discussed about luminous flux and about luminous intensity and luminous efficiency. In this video we are going to discuss about two more important photometric parameters that is illuminance and luminance. So basically uh, we were studying about photometry which is basically concerned with the visible portion of the electromagnetic spectrum and we discussed about luminous flux okay which is the total visible power luminous power which is in the visible range frequency range or wavelength range which is emitted from the source okay the visible energy emitted per second which is represented by the symbol phi and we discussed about luminous intensity which is the luminous power emitted per unit solid angle omega from the source that is expressed as i is equal to phi by omega where i is the luminous intensity. So here in this video we will be discussing about illuminance. So let's say the light from the source it is focused towards an object okay so when uh, light energy falls on the object a portion of it is illuminated okay so that is what is called as illuminance which is when luminous flux falls on a surface that portion on which the luminous energy it falls that is illuminated so that uh, may, you know a way to measure how much of the portion or in what degree that portion is illuminated that is called as illuminance so that can be measured as the luminous flux per unit area of the illuminated surface okay luminous flux falling on per unit area of the illuminated surface where the total area of the illuminated surface is a and how much you know luminous flux is falling per unit area that gives us illuminance which is represented by the symbol e which is basically the ratio between flux and area of the illuminated surface its unit is lumen per meter square or lux okay so this is illuminance and there is a relationship between illuminance E and luminous intensity. Okay, it is a very important relationship, and this is a combination of inverse square law and Lambert's cosine law, where illuminance E is given by I cos theta by R square. So, here from this expression, you can see that illuminance is directly proportional to luminous intensity it is directly proportional to the cosine of the angle okay cosine of the angle which the flux makes with the normal which is drawn to the surface so this is the Lambert's cosine law here flux is falling on this surface the object at an angle theta which it makes with the normal drawn to the surface okay this angle theta the cosine of that that is proportional to this the illuminance and it is inversely proportional to the square of the distance of the object from the source okay r okay it is inversely proportional to square of the distance so this is the relationship between illuminance E and luminous intensity I. Okay. So this is about illuminance. Next we will be discussing about luminance. So luminance L of a surface it refers to the brightness of the surface. Now again it is related to that when light falls on the object a portion of it is illuminated then how much of that you know energy is reflected back or is focused back 
that is a measure of luminance. So basically, luminance is defined as the luminous flux. Here in this case, reflected. Okay, for this case, it is the portion of the luminous flux which was initially focused on the object. How much it, how much of it is reflected per unit solid angle? Okay, that gives us luminance. So first, first step. light is focused on the object a portion of that object is illuminated that is illuminance then how much of that focus light is reflected back per unit solid angle so you in a way it is the reverse of luminous flux or power or luminous intensity okay it is the reverse of luminous intensity it is the luminous flux which is reflected back from the object per unit solid angle okay so it uh, it is measured with respect to the units candela per meter square okay so this is the concept of luminance okay so if we try to uh, you know follow it from the start first the source you know sends out visible energy luminous power or luminous flux phi then the luminous flux measured per unit solid angle or the luminous flux emitted per unit solid angle that is luminous intensity phi by omega then a luminance comes into play that luminous flux or visible energy is focused on an object and a portion or area of uh, that object is illuminated illuminance is phi by a that is luminous flux per unit area of the illuminated surface that is illuminance then the illuminated surface it reflects back a portion of the luminous flux okay how much of it is reflected back per unit solid angle that gives us a measure of luminance okay so this is the series of uh, you know uh, you know uh, the basic orderly way of studying the photometric quantities starting with luminous flux or luminous power then luminous intensity then illuminance and then luminance okay so here we have discussed about uh, the important photometric quantities in the previous video discussed luminous flux intensity and efficiency and in this video we discussed about illuminance and luminance okay so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology have a great day thank you very much